just want to say thank you to everybody. Uh, you know, a budget every year, as we say, is about priorities. And we've heard from Phil and from Mike and from others about some of the priorities that the governor has shown in her budget this year. This issue has not been one of them, and it needs to be one of them. We need to look at the areas where the governor is spending money. You know, some of these areas uh, where the money is being spent is, is just uh, so wrong in light of holding back and, and holding the uh, funding for our local roads and the critical needs that they have. Uh, I mean, Mike Elmendorf nailed it uh, with the federal resources that have been made available to New York State and the fact that they're not being passed through to our capital plan, either statewide DOT or to our local roads and bridges. And we need more. Everybody's here to demand that today. I thank you all for being here. And with that, we'll close it up and uh, we'll ask some questions. Uh, and then I also want to ask everybody to stick around afterwards so we can get a photo with everybody uh, when we wrap up. Are there any questions? I think the, uh, the, the gap is far greater than that. You can talk to any one of these individuals. Uh, we're just, you know, trying to be reasonable, frankly, uh, in the request. That's good. It was nice to have Eileen Gunther here uh, this morning. Um, I wish there were others, frankly. Uh, we need the bipartisan support, obviously, with the legislature makeup uh, that we have uh, uh, right now. Uh, but. Uh, Eileen has been a champion of, of this for years. Uh, she just told me this morning she lives next door to a highway superintendent, so we know we got her in our corner. Um, and, uh, you know, we're certainly working on that. Everybody has local roads in their district. Everybody. Thanks, New York City. Okay, thank you all very much.